Hey guys, Garden here. Come to you guys with another different type of video. So uh, I'm going to be doing another review today. Um, and as you can see in the title, it's going to be based on some over sleeves that I have found for Carvet Vanguard. And I have to say this now, but over sleeves in Carvet Vanguard is probably one of the most annoying things I've ever had to deal with in just card games in general. And I think I've found the perfect over sleeve for Carvet Vanguard. And it's actually really simple when you think about it, but I had no idea that these sleeves existed um, until recently. So uh, I picked some up and I've uh, tested the, my deck out in these new over sleeves and they just feel absolutely amazing. So without further ado, I've got a Vanguard card here. So we've got a good old Blaster Blade Spirit. Um, I thought I had to use a Blaster Blade card at least to demonstrate this. So I have the sleeves here. So these are the sleeves I have found, which are just absolutely amazing. So these are the official Bushy Road um, mini sleeves. Um, as you can see here, it says mini. Um, and these are basically the, you know, the standard um, over sleeve for Carbite Vanguard cards. So when you have a Bushy Road sleeve like this, where it's got like um, artwork on the back, um, so I picked up the IG Legend deck sleeves because in the, the English uh, TCG version of the Legend deck, uh, unfortunately we don't get sleeves or the deck box, but because it's IG and Blaster Blade, um, I did get the sleeves. I ordered them overseas and I also got the deck box as well. So yeah, screw you TCG. Um, I'm getting the cool stuff, whether you feel like it or not. Um, but yeah, I thought, right, I really need to find some overseas for these Aichi sleeves because I just need to protect them because they just look so cool. Um, and I was looking around on the internet and I managed to find a review on the standard size version of these sleeves. Um, and it was for Force of Will. So then I thought to myself, well, if Force of Will have some oversleeves on them, um, surely Vanguard have some as well, but... The main thing about these sleeves that I absolutely love is they're basically matte versions of the Bushy Road sleeves. So years ago in Van well, a few years ago in Vanguard, they made uh, the official Bushy Road sleeves, but it was basically plastic at the front and also plastic on the back as well. But uh, they've changed the formula with these ones. So what they've got is that they have a um, they have a clear front. So these are some sleeves I've already uh, opened up. Uh, they've got a clear front, so if I just take Blaster Blade here, just to demonstrate. So the front of it is clear, um, like that, and the back of it is actually frosted, like so. Uh, so it's a little bit frosted there. So you could sort of compare this to the KMC sleeves that I reviewed not too long ago, but the problem with the KMC sleeves that I used, um, there was an issue that I found recently as well. So these are the KMC sleeves that I reviewed uh a few I think it was a month ago I reviewed these and you may be able to notice but up here there's actually a dent um, and a scratch on it there so that's slightly annoying but there was one other thing that made these sleeves like I guaranteed not to buy for over sleeves at all um, now this may differ between people because uh, it depends on how much you shuffle but I'll show you what the problem was so yeah the sleeve split um and this is quite surprising to me because these over sleeves i've only had them for about a month or two um so i've actually got them quite recently and uh yeah so i i had the sleeve so i'll just uh, unsleeve this uh heel trigger there we go and i'll put blaster blade in here because uh, we have to use blaster blade for demonstrations right so I had the uh, the sleeves upside down like this. So what you do is that you put the character sleeve in first, um, the regular way, and then you put the over sleeves on top, right? So we all know how to do that. And then, you know, the, the downside with the sleeves, you'll see this in my last review that I did for the KMC sleeves um, for Vanguard. Um, the problem I noticed was that the edging, if you just get the camera to focus in, um, the gap here is quite big, um, and here as well. There's actually quite a big gap. So the negative was that it made the deck feel more bulky and just more thick overall. Um, but also, like like I said, when I was shuffling my deck one day, uh, that happened. And uh, I was just like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> that's uh, that's not meant to happen. But uh, yeah, 
So that happening pretty much confirmed that I needed to look for an oversleeve again um, that would fit my Vanguard uh, character sleeves so that I could protect them. So as I said, um, these matte sleeves here, these Bush and Rudd matte sleeves, um, they are the mini size, so look for the mini bit up, up here. And uh, they are like, like I've showed you already, it's essentially the same as what they had before. So they've got the glossy front, but they've got a frosted back on it now. So you just put that in. So as you can see here, if we take a look at Blaster Blade uh, close up, we can see that the Bushard sleeve, you know, as normal, it pretty much is the perfect size for the Vanguard sleeves. It's like very small gaps and it fits the sleeve perfectly. But the other good thing about these sleeves, which I love, is the fact that on the bottom, there's actually more of a lip there. So the problem I noticed with the, uh, the KMC sleeves is that the sleeve was sort of like just on the bottom there. So like if I just angle this the right way. It was like the sleeve was like just on the edge, so it was just in, but with these sleeves, if you push it a little bit further in, it goes in a little bit further. So the bottom of the sleeve is now protected from like, you know, getting damaged or anything like that when you're shuffling or anything like so. So, uh, what is my opinion on the sleeves? Because I've pretty much used these sleeves for like the past two days, um, shuffling my deck. Um, so this is my uh, Majesty Thing Saver deck. Um... I already did a profile on this uh, a year ago, I think it was, and yeah, I've still got it. So I'll just put these over here for now. Um, but yeah, essentially, um, these sleeves are just perfect. It makes them feel like a KMC, so it's a really easy shuffle feel, as you can see. So there's a slide right in there. And it's just really, really nice. Um, they're thinner as well, so my deck's less bulky. Um, like before, so it's a lot more thinner in general, and like I said, the bottoms of these sleeves are now protected because the lip is now a little bit further uh, further out. So yeah, so it's really really easy. And you gotta bear in mind, it may look a bit like difficult to shuffle here, but I've got like, I'd like to say I've got little like, not really uh, little hands, but like I'd say quite wide hands. So like my fingers aren't necessarily like really long. So um. It may look a little bit difficult, but it's actually not. And you got to bear in mind in Vanguard, like, you'll have, like, you know, five cards out. You'll have a starter. Um, I'll just count those just to make sure. Uh, three, four, five. And then you'll draw a card, and then you'll have the one starter. So, yeah. And when you're playing the game, obviously, you'll ride from grade one to grade two to grade three. Um, so we'll just put three to the side. Why not? So your deck will be, like, a little bit smaller. So you'll have this to not shuffle with anymore. So your deck will be a little bit smaller. And it is generally just a lot easier to shuffle. Um, I like to do my like shuffle my deck upside down because I like to make sure that the open end is at the top. So that I can like put the corners and the closed corners on each other like this. So it's easier to fan out. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, these sleeves are just amazing like i can't say any anything more than that the sleeves are just absolutely amazing really really love them um and yeah i'm really happy to find such a perfect product for a card fight vanguard deck uh just in the nick of time for my ag legend deck to come out because uh i am really really excited for this um i cannot wait any longer <laughs> so yeah um and then a lot of my friends will know as well because i do not keep shutting up about it um but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thank you very guys, uh, thank you guys very much for watching the video. It's just a short uh, review. Um, oh, and uh, something else I should mention as well is the uh, the size as well. So this is uh, nine uh, ninety one point five uh, by sixty four, and uh, you'll see here as well. You get seventy of the sleeves as well, which is just it just makes these even more worth it because the great thing about this is that you'll have enough sleeves for your main deck, but you'll also have a lot of sleeves uh, left over uh, for your stride zone. So you'll have some sleeves here for your stride zone uh, left over, and you'll have, uh, let's see, so you've got 16 there, 50 here, so that's 66, and then you'll have four sleeves left. So you'll have four sleeves left over uh, for spares, just in case, I don't know, any of the sleeves get bent or damaged or anything, but 
yeah, but I can't really say much of that um, in terms of durability because I've only been playing them for a few days. But I just wanted to make this review and say these are the best oversleeves I have used for Cardiac Vanguard like ever since. Like trying out all the different types of sleeves, these are probably the best ones I've used just because of the fact that it has that matte backing, uh, so it's a lot more smoother. And it's got the glossy front as well, so your foils will still look um, really, really cool. So yeah. Uh, so thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please tell me down below uh, what you guys think of these sleeves, if you have tried them out yet. Um, and yeah, I am really, really looking forward to that AG Legend deck. So, and I will probably be doing an opening on it on the channel um, as soon as it comes out. But yeah, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time. Oh, and if you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comment section, and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Uh, and in case you're wondering where I bought these from, I got them from eBay. So, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later, guys. Take care.